Hi, welcome to NTP, my name's Mark. First of all, thanks for clicking on the video. Make sure that you click like and subscribe, have a look at our other videos. Now, what we're covering today, we're gonna to cover vans, vans and trailers, cars and trailers, goods to the EU under high reward. Undoubtedly, this is not the first time that you've heard about the subject. But have you done anything about it? This is your four week warning. Can't stress the importance of the timing of this enough. I want to talk about these vehicles specifically where the maximum weight of the vehicle or vehicle and trailer combination is over 2.5 tonnes and up to and including 3.5 tonnes and used to take goods for hire and reward from the UK to the EU. Because as from the 21st of May 2022, legislation changes. Now this video is a kick up the proverbial for anybody that hasn't already put procedures in place to continue or even to start to deliver goods outside the UK in small vans or combinations. In four weeks time, unless you have these vehicles registered on an operator license that's issued by the Office of the Traffic Commissioner, you're going nowhere. Now, if you don't have an operator license, you're gonna to have to get one. But before we look at that, if you do have an operator license, mainly because you're already running vehicles that fall under operator licensing regulations, for example, vehicles over 3.5 tonne, then these vans or trailer combinations, etc., will need adding to your license. If you've got the margin, which is the difference between the number of vehicles authorised on your license and the number of vehicles that you're actually operating, you can simply add them on. If you don't have sufficient margin, then you're gonna to need to apply for an increase in authorization. Now, don't disappear while we talk about operator licensing because the financial information later is gonna be relevant to you. So, no operator license. Might be a good idea to pause the video, grab a pen and paper, as you're probably gonna to need to make notes. And while you pause, why not click on the like, subscribe to our channel so you can see other useful and informative videos after you've watched this one. Right, see you back in a second. Okay, right, so it takes up to nine weeks to get the Office of the Traffic Commissioner to issue an operator license. Problem, you've only got four weeks left. Well, it might not be too late, but you need to act now. You're gonna to need to go online to the government website and apply, but make sure that you specify that you need an interim license. An interim license can be issued quicker, although the government don't give a timeline, but imagine the number of requests that they're getting. So get that application in. Let's hope that they can turn it around in a timely manner. Now, before we look at how to make the application, you're gonna need a transport manager. So let's deal with the details behind this first. You're gonna to need to know these when you fill in the details on the online application later on. Now, how are we gonna get a transport manager? You could employ a transport manager, or you could use the services of an external transport manager. Either way, the transport manager is gonna to have to hold the relevant qualification, certificate of professional competence in road haulage. You may decide that you wanna qualify yourself, or you wanna get a member of your team qualified, that's fine, but it's not gonna happen in four weeks. Now, if you or somebody you know has the experience and can meet certain criteria in the short term, you may be able to act as your temporary transport manager. You, or the other person, could be recognized as a temporary transport manager until the 21st of May, 2025, so three years. After this date, you're gonna to need to pass a CPC qualification or take on a transport manager that holds it. Now, I said about criteria, so what have you got to prove to be able to be a temporary one? You must be able to genuinely answer yes to all of the following questions. So, since August 2010, have you been responsible for any of the following tasks in any job that you have done over this period? Checking drivers, including yourself, have got a valid driving license. Checking vehicles are taxed, have a valid MOT, and are insured at all times. Checking vehicles are being properly maintained and fit and serviceable at all times. Checking vehicles are being loaded safely and not overloaded. Arranging work so that drivers, including yourself, did not break the driver's hours rules or have to speed. 
and pricing work so that it could be done both legally and profitably. Now if you or whoever else that you're considering cannot honestly say yes to all of the above, not just a few, but all of them, then you're not gonna be eligible as a temporary transport manager for the vans. Bear in mind that you need to fill in your work history on the application, proving that you have at least 10 years experience in the goods vehicle sector. If you do qualify, you'll get a reference number and you're gonna need that to put in on the application a bit later on. So let's have a look at the application. Firstly, you're gonna to have to find the application page. Type into your search engine, it's always tempting to say Google, isn't it? But other search engines are available. Apply for an HGV operator license. Now make sure that you select the link for the gov.uk site, not any of the others. I know you're not running HGVs, but don't worry, because once you're on the page, you can select that you're running light commercial vehicles. Now on the gov site, you need to create an account, filling in your details. When you submit the form, you'll be emailed a temporary password. You can then log back onto the government site with the password and then you'll be prompted to change it. Once you're on it again, click on the green box to apply for a license. You're now in, you can start your application. I'm not gonna go through every single page, every single step. Some are very easy and self-explanatory. Just to remind you though, on step one, please don't forget to select that you're only operating light goods vehicles. Carrying on through the form, fill in your business details, your correspondence address, which is where you want your post, etc., to go to, your establishment address, which is where your records will be kept, if it's different to your uh, correspondence address, and owner details, etc. Now, jumping to step six, you're gonna fill in how many light goods vehicles you want to authorise on the licence, plus how many UK licences for the community that you need. You're gonna need one UK licence for the community for each vehicle that you're making journeys within the EU, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland. Step seven, you're gonna to need to provide the financial um, evidence to the system. The system's gonna tell you how much is required because you've filled in enough details for it to work it out. Now, so you know, if you're only applying to run light goods vehicles, you need sufficient funds to cover 1,600 pounds for your first vehicle and 800 pounds for each subsequent vehicle. There's a link on the platform that will explain what can be used to prove the level of financial standing. Proof can be uploaded at the time of application, or if you prefer, afterwards. For those who are adding authorisation onto an existing operator licence, your financial standing will be £800 for each van or combination. You've already proven the first vehicle as an HGV. Now moving on to step eight, this is your transport manager. Now on this page, you can add a transport manager and upload their certificate or you can do that later, or you can declare that you're using an authorised temporary transport manager, giving the reference number that you generated earlier on. The following steps after eight are relatively straightforward. When you review your application at the end and you sign the declarations, don't forget to apply for the interim licence, very important. Now, what's the cost of this? The application for the operator licence is going to cost you £257. The application for the issue of the interim direction will be a further £68, so £325 in total. The gov.uk gov website has got numerous useful links to help you fill in the application, but please do it now. Don't get to the 21st of May 2022 and think, ah, I can't operate. Okay, so summarise. Apply for operator license for your vans, vans and trailers, or cars and trailers with a gross vehicle weight over 2,500 kilograms up to and including 3,500 kilograms. Make sure you apply for an interim license so that you can start trading earlier than the nine weeks that it's taking to get the full license. You've only got four weeks left. Get yourself a qualified transport manager or apply for a temporary transport manager who can prove adequate experience over a 10 year period since 2010. Wow, nightmare, isn't it? I hope you found this info useful. Don't forget to click on like, 
have a look at our other videos, click subscribe, we can then let you know when we've uploaded more interesting, informative and useful vehicles. Take care, catch you soon, get that application in.